in Edison in Morrow County. Ty Higgins on the Ohio Agnet with the cab cam brought to you by Finnick Equipment with Brock Goodman. And we're uh, applying to some corn with some wide drops and, and Brock, probably one of the later dates you're going to be able to do this. This corn's pretty tall. Yeah, this corn's getting right up there to what we can get across with our sprayer. Um, if we catch a rain today, we'll probably be shutting this thing down and that'll be all she wrote for the wide drops. I know there's benefit in the end. How hard is it to run over this corn? Oh, uh, well, cruising through six foot tall corn, you, you kind of feel like you're just mowing it down. But when you look at the actual amount of the field you're running over, it's it's not that much. It just it's really hard to do. It makes you sick almost. Now we mentioned the wide drops, and I'll show video of that here in just a bit. But you've been doing this for a few years now, and it's still early to see exactly on average what the benefit is. But you are seeing some bounce. Yeah, we uh, this is our third year running it. Uh, the first year we didn't get a good trial uh, last year we ran a good portion of our corn um, and we some strips we did see up to 10 to 15 bushel increase uh, we'd like to get a couple more years of it to really put some data together but uh, i think we're, we're definitely doing some benefit by getting the nitrogen on later closer to tassel and also applying it right where it needs it as well that's what these wide drops are all about is getting it right down there by the by the stalk yep absolutely they uh, dribbles the nitrogen on each side of the row, um, right there by the root system where the corn can get to it easily. This corn does look nice. How's the rest of the crop around this area look and how did the planting season go for you here? Uh, crops look really good around our area. We, we got all the corn in early, uh, about six days there in April. We were able to get all the corn planted, uh, finished up before the first of May. Uh, got the rest of the beans in the ground, uh, finished beans up mid-May. Had very little replant, just some wet holes here and there, but overall we're definitely satisfied with the way the crops look for the kind of spring we've had. No secret that a lot of farmers across Ohio plant a little bit more soybeans than usual, but uh, you really uh, kind of unbalanced that sheet a little bit in 2017. Yeah, uh, looking at the markets and you know what we have to do to stay profitable in farming nowadays, uh, we did cut back on our corn acres uh, substantially over the years past. Uh, and upped our soybean acres just, just to hold our profit margin somewhere we feel comfortable with. Now what are we applying here today? Uh, we're running 28% nitrogen. Um, we've also got a nitrogen stabilizer to keep it from volatizing, um, as well as a little bit of sulfur that we're mixing in. Any wheat out this year? We did have some wheat. We just finished cutting the rest of the wheat yesterday. Um, we had about 300 acres of wheat. Did pretty good. Uh, I think our average is going to be somewhere in the upper 60s or low 70s. Brock Goodman here in Morrow County. We're just outside of Edison. Brock, thanks for having me, bud. Not a problem. Thank you, Ty. For the Ohio Agnet, I'm Ty Higgins. We'll see you down the road. Hi, I'm Adam Fennig, and thanks for tuning in to this Ohio Agnet cab cam brought to you by Fennig Equipment. Today, we're going to talk about some of our Valmar cover crop seeding products and how they can benefit you and your operation. Right now we've got a uh, Valmar 1655 here mounted on a Salford vertical tillage tool. Um, you can use this to incorporate cover crops, you can sow wheat with it, and even beans as well. It's a nice unit to run post wheat harvest for uh, an early growth stage or also after beans or corn in the fall if you want to use a uh, maybe a, a winter kill product or whatever you'd like to seed with it. It's extremely good on, on those, those smaller grains. So what we've got here is our chariot pull type model. So you can pull this behind your field cultivator or vertical tillage tool. This unit does not mount on the actual vertical tillage machine versus the one we were just at mounts on your machine. So we've got several different options and they're extremely versatile in how they mount and work on, on uh, your machines. And if you'd like to find more information on our Valmar cover crop seeders, you can view us on YouTube or visit our website at www.fennigequipment.com. So thanks for tuning in to this Ohio Agnet CAB Cam.